All right, today we're gonna give you another tip on a rare variety coin that you should be looking for while coin roll hunting and in your pocket change. Hey everybody, CFA back with you. Today we're gonna talk about another rare variety coin that you could be looking for in your pocket change or while you're coin roll hunting. A couple months ago, we talked to you guys about the Wham, which is the wide AM on the reverse of the Lincoln set from 1998 to 2000. Now we found a couple of those, so we thought it'd be great to share that with you guys. Now today we want to talk about the CAM, which is a close AM variety and it's found on 1992 and 92D reverse of Lincoln cents. Now I'm not going to lie to you, this one is much rarer than the Wham, much harder to find and we've never found one, but there is a huge potential for value on that coin if you were to find one and we'll get more into that here in a little bit but first i want to kind of go into <clears throat> what's with all this wham and cam you know why what's the difference why is some reverses have a wide am and some have a close am well from 1958 to 1992 all lincoln cents on the reverse had a wide AM. Now in 1993, they decided to change that. So when you get to 1993, they went to the close AM variety. So when you get to the 1998 2000s, they were just proof coins that had the wide AM. And that's why some got mixed up and you have the wide AM that you can find and change that's not correct. It's a rare variety and they're worth more money because somewhere at the Mint they use the proof reverse on a business strike and it got into circulation. So on the 1992 a few examples have been found where they ended up with the 1993 intended reverse. I'm pretty sure there's only about 20 that have been found. I believe mostly Denver minted uh, 1992s with the close AM. So like I said, they're very rare. Now what you want to look for, once again, I'll show you the picture here. You want to look for the A and the M that are basically touching. I mean, there's not going to be really any daylight at all between the two. And it's pretty obvious when you looked at a lot of them, the difference between the close AM and the wide AM. Now you can also, another telltale sign on these is the FG, the initials, Frank Sparrow. You look down by the memorial and on the close AM, the FG is further away from the memorial, and on the wide AM, it's closer to the memorial. So it's actually opposite. Close AM, wide initials, wide AM, close initials. All right, so anytime you're looking through your sense and you wanna look for these varieties on the reverse, here's a little recap what you need to remember. 1958 to 1992, all reverses are the wide AM variety and the close FG initial. Now in 1993, the business strikes and the proof strikes were all close AM. Everything was changed in 1993. 1994, your business strikes are all the close AM, and then they changed the proofs to wide AM. So anything beyond 1994 all the way through 2008 when the reverse was changed on the Lincoln cent, they should all be close AM business strike and wide AM proof strike. So if you are going through these and you find anything that doesn't match that, you could likely have a rare variety. And who knows, maybe there's something that hasn't been found yet, so you always want to check. All right, so now let's take a look at what could this close AM 1992 potentially be worth if I was to be lucky enough to find one? Well, I, I scanned online auctions, I looked at eBay and a lot of other places and there is a ton of them that are called the close AM 1992 that are for sale. But 99.9% .9 of them that I found were either really blurry video picture, or, you know, video uh, picture of the reverse, really foggy and hard to hard to see, or it was obviously a wide AM and not a close AM. I did find this one confirmed by PCGS uh, example that was on eBay, and it sold for two thousand dollars. 
That's not an asking price, that's a sold price, $2,000. So again, yes they're rare, yes they're hard to find, but we always search for them because the potential is enormous if you were actually to find one. All right, so there you go. Now you should all have a pretty good understanding of what to look for on the reverse of the Lincoln Scent from 1958 to 2008. And if you happen to find any of these, we would love to hear about it, especially if you find that close AM on the 92. That would be phenomenal. Matter of fact, the whole numismatic world would probably know your name. So, so we definitely want to hear about that. We even love to hear about the Whams. Uh, like I said, we found a couple of them. We've never found a 99. They're a little harder, but the 98 to 2000s are definitely out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely hope you learned something. We have several other videos out there that show you some tips and tricks on what to look for, how we look for this stuff. We've got some on rotation errors and then you can see our setup at, here at our place uh, when we're going through looking for this stuff if you're interested. And maybe it'll give you some ideas of how to do it yourself. So I'll show the links at the end of this. Uh, to those videos. Alright, we uh, all here at CFA appreciate y'all watching. We appreciate the support. We just crossed 3,500 subscribers on YouTube. Unbelievable. We couldn't do it without all your guys' help. So, thank you again for watching and as always, keep checking that change.